passion is on display here. This is what gives them joy and hope for a better future through this sport. These talented footballers train daily on this surface, a surface that is God forsaken but has produced stars who grazed the green fields in Europe and other parts of the world. The Birkin Park, which means the Black Park, is a small space in the middle of buildings in Kanda used for football purposes. This is not an area that will crop up in football conversations, not even Nima, an area which has produced some of the greatest players to ever wear the national colors. Mohamed Polo, the dribbling magician. Mohamed Polo, the magnificent. The story about the, 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 the magician player. The player with different abilities. I'm a maestro, I'm a wizard. I'm Polo to Polo, I'm Wonder Boy. I'm player extraordinaire. I'm scientist footballer. I'm footballer extraordinaire. Masa. Mohamed Polo was born and bred in Nima. He rose to become a legend of Hearts of Oak, won Ghana Footballer of the Year in 1975 and was also named in the CAF team of the tournament during the 1978 Africa Cup of Nations after helping Ghana to its third continental title. <laughs> Since Polo's retirement in the early 90s, Nima has struggled to produce players of like quality. The moment the field started to diminish, you know, started building, they were building houses and whatever it is. So the interest of football, you know, dropped. And these young ones who, who are supposed to have that sort of, uh, you know, field to, to, to enjoy have no place to go. So if you don't go to a, a certain team, you just and uh, it's, it's very difficult. Just two major parks in Nima, and one is in the Kanda cluster of schools. The park is a playground of students during sports competitions. Due to the chronic inadequacy of pitches, the students and pupils share with the rest of the community. The Kaukudi Park is the other but frequent use and congestion are major concerns. We are unable to train adequately due to the congestion. Many teams train here. It makes it difficult for each team to have enough time to train. It is really affecting our fitness level. We cannot even play matches here. This has had a ripple effect on burden talents and their development. Samson, for instance, is a winger whose creativity has been stifled. Playing from here, you see from here, I have to cut in and you looking at I wish the camera could actually picture that, that place. You could see what will I say erosion has done to that place. It's, it's like impossible to do that. Like from here, you as a right wing or let's say the right back, it's impossible doing that from that angle. It's very, very, very difficult. So, <laughs> so I don't know. So if you're, doing, if you're actually playing on that wing, you just have to avoid or you can't do anything much there. Yeah. So how does it affect you? Because you are someone who knows how to dribble, who knows how to score, yet you get to a certain part of the pitch, then you have to change your plans. Yeah. So you change your plans automatically, like the goal is not going to come from that angle. So either you have to take the ball back, or let's say pass to your, to your player or any option there, but you can't just drive. For there you can't drive. Either you're going to fall and you're going to get injured, or even passing the ball forward, it's not going to go through. 
And then you pack and get a batawa. One killer. In a boot, in a common a rush is kept pack and get the wa. Kumaruan and Kumana. Rainfall worsens the state of the park. Part of the park is eroded due to the downpour. The balls easily get tattered when we play. When you sleep small, no, can touch and can see that some problem by easy man. Especially the other side of the park, and be the kill some. So second, you come and do by bison now. There is a cesspit tank around and its sewage streams onto the field. The liquid waste often leaves our body in stench. There is also a borehole beneath the park and its pillars are visible. One can easily get injured if they fall on these pillars. From these sandy pitches, this community produced the likes of Ayakstar Mohamed Kudus, Andalect Majid Ashimeru, and Abdul Manaf of Yupin. Before the football world appreciated their craft, they needed platforms such as Right to Dream, Wafa, and Aspire Academies to live the dream their colleagues here are yet to wake up from. There are other places within Nima, for instance, this place, downside, towards Michigan, towards the NASA Bridge, towards the Berlin Bridge. What about the children there? Where can they play? So our city authorities must start to think. You worry that there's a lot of crime here. Uh, I was out of the country when I heard a big fight near the big gutter. Do you think if we had created avenues for these children to play, to exhibit their talent and become good footballers, they'll be engaged in this? Our leaders should not only think about, you know, um, trying to arrest people because they are criminals. They should also think about preventative measures where we can provide um, opportunities for young people to have hope in life. And football can give a lot of hope. Awalu Angulu Mahama is a football manager who is well known in the football community for organizing various football tournaments unify the youth and promote peace. Former Asante Kotoko and Black Stars midfielder Issa Ahmed, Great Olympics captain and Black Galaxies midfielder Razak Kasim have benefited from his initiative. He is worried about the scarcity of pitches. Nima, uh, where the general hospital is, is a park. They came and took it from us. After that, no park. That was where I was bringing everybody together that time. Those Mohamed Polos and what, LB, Anas Tondes. That, that park was feeding Nima and Newtown. After that park, oh, it has created a lot of problems for us. Without space, without pitches, even if it's Sakura pitches, we have to get them enough. But without pitches, where can they go and play? And without pitches and they don't get place to play, they rather move to ghettos. So we need that pitches for the youth. Very, very important. With pitches and good pitches, we, we, we can get a lot of talent. But all is not gloomy. At the Kaukudi Park, a walking distance away from the gravel surface, is a new project for an AstroTurf pitch. It's been funded by the One Million Dollars One Constituency, One AstroTurf Initiative, through the Infrastructure for Poverty Eradication Program under the Ministry of Special Development Initiatives. The redevelopment of the park into a FIFA standard multi-purpose page began in 2020, with projected completion in three months. It is meant to help these talents realize their goals, but almost three years on, the excitement that greeted the construction of this astroturf is now one of despair. Park in uh, Ayuma community. Mayajima. 
almost before election. I can say that fear carry pack nga before election. I understand. I say we move now. Okay, normal. So you can carry election. Brothers love training. The park was intended for the community, and it has taken long. The plan was to finish it before the 2022 election, but election is done, and we haven't seen any improvement. The youth are angry to play. We want the government to come and finish the construction for us. We train it to create awareness that we need the park to be completed. If they are reluctant, they should tell us. We are willing to organize ourselves and finish the project. So that the community, we vote Usually when we come around and uh, the children are here training, we sack them so that we can have access to the pitch to train. It is really not the best and uh, we are hoping and pleading with authorities to finish the project for us. We are willing to help in any way for the completion of, of this project. Government to reach one government. The government key and the problem by one by government key in by one who may shift to the cash so that support a support is so park and leave one of the uh, second division clubs, three second division clubs normally in park and go to use all these three clubs. We have three second division clubs and coach division training here. These coach teams produce Majid Asumeru, Nuridin Manaf, and Mohammed Kudos. We don't know what is stalling the completion. Those in charge should come out and explain to us. As to government co individual Over the years, the population of Nima has grown which has led to an increase in houses for inhabitants. And with that, the next Mohammed Polos, Kudus Mohammeds, and Majid Ashmerus are in obscurity. For the lands that would have been a platform for these talents to be scouted, buildings are erected instead. It is unusual to see anywhere in the world that you have communities where you have no recreational facilities for children. It's unusual. In Nima, it is particularly problematic. If children in Nima, for instance, want to play football, they have to go to Kanda. They have to cross the Kanda Highway. You know the dangers involved in crossing the Kanda Highway. But a lot of the kids do that on a daily basis. We, I think they should start thinking carefully where they can make some play grounds available for people within Nima, kids within Nima, to hone their talents so people can come here to see them. What is supposed to be a respite for this community is this white elephant. If promises were results, this pitch would have been ready. There is one fear for many, giving the youth here no hope gives an inkling of what they might indulge in social vices. Haruna Mubarak for Joy Sports.